this Reddit user started drinking minoxidil instead of applying it topically. Four and a half months later, these were the results. As you can see, he completely reversed his hair loss and regrew the hair on his temples. But how did he do it? Is drinking topical minoxidil something safe? Stay until the end of the video to find out and see the progress picture of another user doing the same. Okay, so after some weeks of applying the minoxidil on the scalp, which is the normal way you are supposed to do it, the Reddit user XSilverTooth decided that he was tired of that, so he started drinking it. His idea was that, since you can normally also take minoxidil orally for hair loss, drinking normal topical minoxidil should also work. We will get in a minute to how much he was drinking. But first, let us see the ingredients that are inside a minoxidil bottle to evaluate if drinking it is something actually safe. Oh, by the way, all this I'm gonna tell you is strictly informational. I'm certainly not telling you to do the same as he did. Okay, so besides minoxidil, there are three other ingredients inside the bottle, which are water, ethanol and propylene glycol. So of course, we don't need to worry about water. Ethanol, for those who don't know it, is basically almost the same as alcohol. That, in the dosage that the user was taking, is basically also harmless. What about the third ingredient, propylene glycol? What is it and is it something safe to consume? Propylene glycol is a substance used to absorb extra water and maintain moisture in certain products like medicines, food or cosmetics. It is generally considered to be safe by the US Food and Drug Administration. And you will see it in many food products, such as dried soups, salad dressings, and even biscuits. So yeah, of course, like with everything else, if you don't drink one liter of it, it's considered to be safe. Nothing will happen to you. You may ask, why is it inside the minoxidil bottle in the first place? Well, it is used because of its ability to help dissolve minoxidil and increase its absorption from the skin. Without it, the minoxidil would be barely absorbed and basically useless. So okay, we established that those ingredients are generally safe to consume. What about the minoxidil, however? It is well known that minoxidil, apart from treating hair loss, it is also a high blood pressure treatment. Taking, or in this case, drinking too much of it, is certainly something very dangerous and can lead to health issues, such as heart disease in the long run. So how much is the user drinking of it? He reportedly said in a comment he was drinking 4 drops of it a day. And how much is that in terms of milligrams? Well, if my math is not false, he is currently taking around 5 milligrams of minoxidil a day. How did I calculate it? So the way you figure out the milligrams per drop of whatever minoxidil brand you're taking is the following. 5% minoxidil bottles have 50 milligrams per 1 milliliter. There are roughly 40 drops in 1 milliliter. So 50 milligrams divided by 40 drops equals 1.25 milligrams per 1 drop. So yeah, the user is roughly taking 5 milligrams of minoxidil a day which is actually considered normal when you treat hair loss. A dermatologist would prescribe you to treat hair loss actually a dose of 1.25 to 5 milligrams of oral minoxidil for men, not women. And from what I've seen on Reddit, this user was not the only one drinking actually the minoxidil. This other Reddit user was taking three drops, meaning 3.75 milligrams of oral minoxidil a day. Four months later, he regrew the lost hair on his temples and looks like this now. So even his lower dose, 1.25 milligrams less than the other user, can also yield great results as you can see. Despite all these promising results, I can't endorse this practice at all. Why? Because this is by far not an exact science. As we have seen before, we are talking about drops you take per day. But no one really knows what the measurement of one drop is. The risk of drinking too much minoxidil accidentally is just too high. And with such a potentially dangerous medicine, it is certainly not worth the risk for anyone. If you want to start taking oral minoxidil, go talk to your dermatologist to get a normal prescription. There are no shortcuts here, that's the only way to get it in a safe way. When it comes to things like this, go always talk to your medical professional, guys. Alright, that's all for today. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more about hair loss treatments, please subscribe. It really helps a small YouTuber like me. Until next time, I wish you a happy hair journey. Adios.